video I'm gonna paint on headwear and I will show you three perfect for painting different types of headwear. You know, to give you an idea for you to see and understand that not only denim jackets are perfect for customization but all kind of clothes and headwear as well. And actually headwear is also perfect for customization because it's affordable, it's easy to paint on it and just one such unique hand painted head can completely change your outfit. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to paint on headwear. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion channel. So first perfect for painting type of headwear is bandanas because they are so affordable and they've been so trendy lately. Probably it will be a bit hard for you to find such basic bandana without any pattern uh, you know, for painting because mostly people wearing such classic paisley pattern bandanas. Uh, but I thought it could be fun to create your own pattern. So yeah, if you want to paint on bandana, you should create some kind of a pattern, some kind of an ornament. Uh, because to wear a bandana you should fold it, you should tie it and if it will be just one artwork it will just get lost somewhere. So yeah, uh, you should better create some kind of an ornament or pattern. You know patterns are perfect designs for the beginner so painting on bandana is affordable, easy and fun. <laughs> And here is my basic bandana, I could find only black color bandana and then I decided to create full black uh, headwear video, I will customize three pieces and all of them are black. And here is the sketch of my pattern, it will be graphic eyes pattern. If you want to sketch out your pattern on bandana you can use chalk, uh, of course if your bandana is black but if it's white you can use uh, some soft pencil. I'm sketching out just main elements, uh, most of the elements I will paint freehand. And then I'm putting cardboard between two parts of bandana to prevent paint bleeding through. And now I'm starting to paint with color and if you want to paint on black color headwear you should keep in mind that black color fabric absorbs color. So if your design, if your pattern, if your artwork is colorful, first you need to create white base layer and let it dry and then apply color. Uh, or if your pattern is white, uh, you will need to apply two layers of white color to make such bright white. So how to create pattern? A pattern should include some repetitive image or images. For example, in my pattern there will be many eyes, lines, lettering, like many repetitive images but all in one aesthetic, in one style. I decided to use such light green color instead of red uh, because such lime color is very trending right now <laughs> and I love it, it's such a beautiful color. And as I've already created white base layer, I can apply green color on top of it and my green color will be very bright. And then I'm just adding some elements, some of them I'm creating in the process of painting. I just see that, okay, here is a free space, I need to write something there or draw something there. And if you create pattern on white color bandana or light color bandana, you can use fabric markers uh, to write or to draw something. But as I create pattern on black color bandana, uh, there is no such uh, fabric marker, white color fabric marker with a good coverage, which you can use on black color fabric. So I have to use brush and fabric paints. Then I'm adding uh, paint splashes because paint splashes are always a good idea. <laughs> And then I decided to add a bit more elements because I feel that my pattern is not busy enough and I want it to be very busy. So yeah, when you create pattern you shouldn't afraid that you will make it too busy because pattern should be busy. <laughs> Thank you. 
And next perfect for painting type of headwear is bucket heads. And bucket heads have been so trendy lately as well. And I love them, they're so fun. So when I want to paint my bucket head, I can think only about fun designs. I can't think about anything serious because for me bucket head is definitely something very fun. So yeah, in this video again I'm gonna create very fun design. <laughs> And I decided to create 3P design, something I wanted to make for so long. So this is gonna be my first try of creating 3P design. <laughs> so it's mushrooms and 3P wave. Uh, mushrooms I decided to make white and I will try to make them graphic so yeah, again as I paint on black color bucket head I have to use small brush and fabric paint to create graphic design but if you paint on a white color or light color bucket head you can use fabric marker to draw some lines to create some graphic elements And for wave I create a white base layer, I will let it dry and then I will add colors. And to create trippy wave I'm gonna use many very bright colors, pink, lime green, yellow, orange. I decided to add writing to make the idea very very clear, <laughs> just happy thoughts. I know you were about to write that I misspelled the word thoughts, <laughs> but I noticed it later and I fixed it. And one more type of headwear perfect for painting is baseball caps. And you know, if bucket hat is something fun for me, I want to paint fun designs on them. Baseball caps are different. In my opinion, they should look cool. So I always want to paint something wild on them. Some roaring animal, some dragon, I don't know. So again, in this video, I'm gonna paint very cool and wild design. And here is my black color baseball cap. 
And here is my design, tiger, but this time it's gonna be a defeated tiger. And again I'm using chuck to sketch out design and for all other kind of clothes I'm able to use transfer paper to transfer my design from paper onto clothing but especially baseball cap has such rounded shapes so it's hard to use transfer paper. So if you're a beginner I recommend you to choose some easy design, something graphic, something which you are able to draw directly on a cap using chuck or soft pencil. And my tiger is gonna be light blue color. And here you can notice that I didn't create a white base layer, I paint directly with color, but that is because uh, the color which I use is very light, it's a light blue color. So there is no difference, like I can apply two layers of light blue color and it will look the same as if I would uh, apply first white base layer and then I would apply light blue color. So how to defeat a tiger? I'm gonna create an invisible power. I'm gonna use red color, uh, fabric paint and palette knife to create such directional strokes, such very energetic strokes. And you can definitely see baseball cap as a canvas, you can create very abstract design on it, very expressive. Like most of the caps which you can find on the market, very graphic, with such graphic designs, logos, slogans. But you can think out of the box, uh, you can create something much more interesting because you are the artist and you have unlimited possibilities. And you may be wondering how to fix paints with iron on such not flat shape as baseball cap. The process is absolutely the same. Put something fabric on top of it and iron it <laughs> for 5 minutes. Well guys, now I will show you the final result and I hope I encouraged you to customize some hat because actually it's so fun, it's easy, it's affordable and it's perfect for the beginners. And as always, ask for support, for your likes and comments. If you are new here, subscribe for more painting on clothes videos and here is the final result.